An occasion of pure, raw Derby passion. This is the North London Derby. Tottenham and Arsenal, they don't like each other very much, but that's all part of the charm of this fixture. And we're with you every step of the way. Live coverage here on EA TV. The North London Derby, it is a fixture rich in history, but only in recent times has the drama unfolded at this venue, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Derek Ray in the commentary position, Stuart Robson is next to me. Stuart, you know this fixture well. Well, all those years ago when I was playing for Arsenal, this was the game you wanted to win more than any other. We simply didn't like each other and nothing's changed. And the starting 11 for Spurs. Rodrigo Bentancur plays alongside James Madison in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in the last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one, Derek. What a great season they've had. They've been the best team in the league. No doubt about that for me. And they do like to press whenever they can. The save was a good one. Can someone get on the end of this? Not the best clearance. Martinelli. Very quick thinking there. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. James Madison. Arsenal really hit most of the right notes in their win against Wolves. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, what a performance that was away from home. It doesn't get better than that. Today, I think we'll see them dominate the play, create good chances and win the game. Let's hope they play at their best. Not troubling the keeper. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. From down here, it looks as though he landed actually on top of his elbow. That's why he's in so much discomfort, and that's why, of course, the bench are so concerned. Cheers, Jeff. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. And he's broken free. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? So the ball is rolling again. That should shake up Spurs a bit. Well-timed tackle. Martinelli. And no way to sugarcoat that one, Stuart. Well, sometimes it's worth having a shot from distance, but he never really set himself to hit that cleanly. Well, it wasn't all that far off the target. Well, you're absolutely right. That was close, but the game is still very much in the balance here. Fine work from Spurs to win it back. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
That's a good looking shot. And the keeper takes charge and dealing with the free kick. And I think, unfortunately for him, the less said about that attempt, the better. Well, he had a lot of options there, but he's chosen the wrong one. That was a poor effort. James Madison. Oh, he's lost possession. Asking a lot of any player, quite honestly, to score from that position. Well, I don't need to say too much about that, do I, Derek? Marcinelli, dangerous ball, it comes to nothing in the end. And a chance, Odegaard! Oh, and couldn't convert! Possession seeded by the Gunners. Skip. A textbook interception. Marcinelli. Will he find the net? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Gabriel Jesus. Well, going for power from there, but not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest. Getting in there to intercept. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Oliver skip. Now options are plenty, but they dealt with the threat posed. Arsenal finding space on the wing. And there's the feed into the box. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. And a tidy challenge. Oh, that's a really good run. And just over the bar, really good. Effort. Time for a change then. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. But a yellow card it is, and not too many complaints. No, he can't argue with that. He's been warned. Well, good run this. Now, what can he do with it? Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. That'll be a Spurs ball. Bentancur. Spurs unable to retain possession. Time then here in the English capital. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be. <laughs> Arsenal with the lead going into this second half, but no room for complacency. And they stopped them in their tracks. Being pressed here. Habits. A 
And a chance, Odegaard! Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Really well played pass. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. He has teammates around him. Takes aim! And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Could be dangerous. Just needs to stay calm. On his own, with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Tottenham Hotspur taking on Liverpool. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Well, those stats don't lie. It's been all Arsenal so far, and it seems only a matter of time before they do get another one. And they're raiding again here. Attack after attack. That's a very fine piece of tackling. He's in here. Now the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Could play it in. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And he read it well defensively. Nice looking move, this. It opens up for Havertz. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just <laughs> offside. Great decision by the assistant. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. So half an hour remaining. No foul. Spurs advantage. Ivan Perisic. That's how to dispossess your opponent. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Bournemouth. Oh, big moment here, Derek. Decides to shoot, and the keeper diving to thwart him. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Trying to pick out a teammate. It might be. Oh, good save. Kai Havertz. Trossard. Trossard. And with that, the attack fizzles out. He's in with a chance. But it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Zinchenko. Now will the cross work out for them. Danger averted. 20 minutes remaining. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. And space to exploit, maybe. He quartered the attack illegally. Now, perhaps a card is forthcoming. And fired from the flank into the area. And a confident clearance. Effective piece of pressing. Richarlison. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, great piece of individual skill. 
And he has options available. Madison. Able to close down the shot. Now in a more than decent position. And making the forward run is Perisic. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, underway once more. And this is not in the bag just yet. Spurs have made sure of that. Well, still time for them to level it. Richarlison. Easy save. And a fine tackle. It's very pleasing on the eye, this attack, which goes through. This could spell trouble, with the referee having already shown the yellow card. Now, failure to keep the ball by Tottenham. Kai Havertz. Incisive pass. And he's in the clear. Couldn't quite hang on. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, let's take another look at this. And from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper. Players coming in for the rebound. And there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one. Couldn't react to the second. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. And if you've already received a yellow card, you surely want to stay away from that sort of challenge. And it will be his last act of the day. He's off. Well, what was he thinking? It's a silly tackle, isn't it? Ivan Perisic. In a decent position now. And teammates around him. Zinchenko and players waiting in the centre thwarting him could be there it is victory more or less guaranteed now well here we can see it again and no wonder the manager is furious they just have to get tighter here deal with the danger otherwise that's the outcome not good enough defensively Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. And the referee is going to add on four. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, they saw red earlier, and now they're seeing yellow, Stuart. Well, it's no good keep fouling. They have to show more discipline here. They've completely lost their composure. dealt with that ball comfortably what was the chance they could get caught out on the break here nice looking move you'll have a go here well that's how to hit them not quite accurate enough though well what a goal that would have been surprised he took it on to be honest long way out but oh so close And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially. Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. 
What a player he is. All eyes on Gabriel Jesus in a rich vein of form and number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal, and they face Bournemouth. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. Oh, in with a chance! Oh, superb save! Massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Oh, real chance for him. Well, he attacked it so well and made good contact, but he just couldn't keep it down, could he? The Gunners have lost the ball. Soranke in with a chance. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in the last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one, Derek. What a great season they've had. They've been the best team in the league. No doubt about that for me. Well, he gave it quite the blast, but nowhere close to the goal. Havertz. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Gabriel Jesus. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Good work from Bournemouth to win it back. Trying his luck, and still an opportunity. And goal news to bring you in the Brighton game. And Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Villa. They've scored the opener with 13 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. A meaty but fair challenge. And it will be a throw-in. Bournemouth struggling to keep possession. 
He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. Well, Derek, he's playing with great confidence. He's in great form as well. And every time he gets the ball, he looks as though he's going to be a threat. Whether he's taking on defenders, when he's running beyond them with the ball, or whether he's getting shots away early, he's in tremendous form. And a shot from some way out. Well, he was miles out, but still had the audacity to go for goal. Yeah, as you said, a long way out. But what a good strike that was. He hit it so cleanly. Not in the accuracy department, leaving a bit to be desired. And he's made headway. And wouldn't he love to have that opportunity back? Well, that should be 1-0, but that's not a good finish, is it? Zabanyi. Ilya Zabanyi went in strongly to win the ball. He's in behind. Well, the post got in the way. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Traore. Failure to keep the ball by Bournemouth. Plenty of support here. Incisive pass. Well, that's a moment he'd like to airbrush from history. Not a good attempt. Well, lots of power, but no control whatsoever. That's a real waste. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. And the shot just over the top. A very effective challenge put in. And ball back with Arsenal now. Running with the ball confidently. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And that was a very fine read. Philip Billing and Adam Smith on the ball there to take it away well there's been a goal at the Etihad Stadium and Alex Scott can give us the lowdown on that it's a goal from Manchester City it was a volley that was mishit it totally fooled everyone including the goalkeeper it's now 1-0 with 37 minutes played many thanks Alex feeding it through can he put it away can they put it away? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. And he's broken free. Just the challenge that was required. Really good build up, but no end product. And Bournemouth losing possession. Chance to take the lead. And a stinging shot, but off target. Well, as you said, off target when really that should be hitting the back of the net. That's a golden opportunity. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. So the match has restarted here in Manchester. 
The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Oh, breezing past it. Nicely saved. Oh, it strikes the bar. Well timed tackle. Long way out this. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Bournemouth unable to hang on to the ball. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Manchester United. Havertz, he's in with a chance. Oh, his eyes lit up, thinking it was about to be the opener. Well, just the lack of composure. He should score there. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. Went in strongly to win the ball. Trying to open them up. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Saka, and what a clinical finish this is from Jesus. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Philip Billing and threading it through they've only gone and grabbed another one two goals in quick succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating well let's see this again the vision to play this through ball is superb and then the perfect finish from Jesus he really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Bournemouth facing Brentford. Oh, big chance! Oh, he stopped it! Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Oh, danger here. Havertz! A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here it is again. Havertz goes past his man so easily. And what a strike by Havertz. That really is a clinical finish. There was no stopping that. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Nicely timed tackle. Adams. Philip Billing. Not a good pass. And Kai Havertz. Oh, good save. Yeah. 
Trying to deliver it accurately. Not away completely. What a commitment to defending. Arsenal recovering possession well. Uatara. Tyler Adams. And a good tackle. Well hit with power and almost the right precision. Well, Arsenal are looking really good today. Just look how many chances they've created. And I sense there's still more to come here. Strong but fair tackle. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly... respectable one Stuart well he surprised everybody including me it's a decent effort you have to say this is very rare indeed three substitutes coming on at the same time Declan Rice and he's in well going for power with that shot but it didn't happen for him at all. Well, that's a poor effort. He's got that all wrong. That's a really bad shot in the end. Philip Billing. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Arsenal could be onto something. But he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. That's very effective, good. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. A tremendous vision. Uatara. And here now is Lewis Cook. Philip Billing. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Tommy Yasu. And I'm hearing something has happened in the Brighton game. Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Villa. The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. They're ahead by two now, with under five minutes left to play. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Time for a change then. Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Billing. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. A real opening now. It opens up for Havertz. Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Kai Havertz. Rice. Promising sequence. Now will the cross work out for them? Chance maybe. 
And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. So much to admire about the performance put in by Gabriel Jesus. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. Thank you.